Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and this update for 100 colorful empties. In this project I have chosen 10 colors and 10 products for each and every color and I tried to finish these products up. Some are easier, some are harder, some are like one time use items, some are full sizes and today we're going to have a great update because I have finished not only like many products but some full size products and I am so stoked to, uh, to have these done and to be able to show it to you guys today. So let's go through all of the colors again like I did last time and you will see what I have finished. This time I will have a pink cross over the things that I finished this time. So let's start off with a category that has gray or silver products in it. I have actually finished three items in this category, which is kind of insane, but here it is. The first one is Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Wash. I like this one. This smells amazing. It smells really, really good. And it's not always, like sometimes Elemis smells really good and sometimes their product is like, mm, not really nice. <laughs> but this one is an empty and I liked it. Then I finished this Verso Nourishing Cream and I think I finished it yesterday or something like that. It's an okay product. It's not something I would repurchase. I think this is a pretty expensive brand and I don't think it was special. So I would not repurchase that one, I think. And then for the third and last product for this category, we have this Hemp Hand Cream from The Body Shop. This is supposed to be extra nourishing and extra, you know, for extra dry hands and stuff. And it's been nice, it's been good. And I don't think actually that this has caused any breakouts or anything. Usually they're hand creams that I've been trying. If I use them too much, then I can actually get some like rashes or something like that on my knuckles. Um, but I don't think this has done that. I don't know if it's because I didn't use it that often or if it's a better formula than the other ones for me personally. I just think I'm a little bit sensitive to the other ones. Um, but anyway, here is the picture of the gray slash silver category. As you can see, I have finished up quite a lot in here. So we do have a few things left and I actually have one of the items here that I think I might be able to finish until next time or the time after. And that is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. And that is this one. Um, I am using it pretty often. And as you can see, I actually hit baby pan here and I don't have that much left. So I think I might be able to finish this until the next update. Then we come to the pink category. I haven't used many products here, only three. I use the Philip Kingsley Bond Builder ones. I also use the Rose Dew Glow Face Mist from the Body Shop. I used that one four times and it's beginning to get a little bit easier to use it because one of you suggested I have it as like a freshening up mist in the beginning of the day, you know, uh, to kind of wash my face with it. And yeah, I do it once in a while, but it kind of feels like I'm spraying perfume into my face because it's so scented and it's not the most pleasant scent it's a rose scent but yeah i don't really care for that one but i am going to finish it and then i've used the nail polish once for the black category i haven't used anything up either but i am continuing to work on that setting spray i've used it 14 times this time the glow minerals perfecting powder i've used what six times i think and i've used the dry shampoo twice the dream cream i actually started using this month as well i've used it three times and then i'm continuing to work on the philorga time filler for the night i've used it six times i think so i am well on my way on that one as well but like i said i haven't finished anything in this category and it's hard to show progress on those products because the setting spray isn't see-through the glow minerals powder like it's hard to see any difference so that's why i'm not really showing you anything other than this picture then we move on to the white category and I have finished this moisturizing lotion. I used it on my body. This was actually for the face and body, but I have so many face creams and I wanted to use up something else in this 
project even. So uh, yeah, I used this on my body three times to finish it and it is gone. Otherwise, I'm just working on the mood managing like stress reliever spray or whatever it is. I use it in the nights, but I can't show any progress on that one either. So yeah, it is what it is. For the next category, I have worked on a few items. It's the red category. And first off, I want to show you guys that I have finished the rinsing vinegar or the part of the rinsing vinegar that I was trying to use up in this category. And I have made the decision that I want to replace the other shampoo bar that I have in here that I haven't started yet, that one from Lush. I wanted to replace that product because I have another big shampoo here and uh, it, there's too many, you know. Uh, I don't think I will be able to finish that one and other ones that I'm working on and stuff. So I will just try to finish another shampoo bar that I have in here and the other one I will not even, you know, begin in this project. So I thought I would replace that one. So I will fill this up again with the rinsing vinegar. I have like a huge bottle of it. So I had poured it into here and now it's finally finished. And now if I fill it again, I, I feel like that could be, you know, instead of that bar. I've also finished this cinnamon roll bubble bar from Lush. It took me four uses. I like it. I've said it before. It creates like a red bath with gold glitter in it and it smells very nice, very Christmassy and kind of like gingerbread, I think. And uh, yeah, it's very nice. So that one is gone. Other than that, I have worked on the strawberry lip butter from the body shop. I've used it about 20 times, but you can't really see that much of a difference. And then I've used the color changing lip balm from Essence. I thought I would be able to finish it, but I wasn't. I definitely think it will be gone for the next update though, because there's so little left. From the orange category, I have finished one thing, and that is this Loveliness Sensual Perfume from Real Time. I love this. It's lovely. It's a lovely scent. It's loveliness in a bottle. I <laughs> uh, really like that one. And that is the only thing that I finished from this category, but I want to talk about the shampoo bar and conditioner. As you know, I have been struggling with the shampoo bar. Um, the container looks like this. And right now it's looking like this. And maybe you can't see that much of a difference, but let me tell you, I have found a way to make this work. In the last update, I said I wanted to sand it down and see if I can make it like smoother kind of. Um, and I said to myself afterwards that if this doesn't work, I will try it once more. If this doesn't work, then I will declutter it. And I was supposed to do that and I was like, okay, if I put it in water, if I just fill this container with water for a few hours, then maybe it can kind of, you know, soften up a bit. And I did and I kind of forgot it and until the next day. And um, it was kind of dissolving quite a lot in the water. So it was almost like I was creating my own shampoo by just adding the water and uh, it looked kind of nasty, <laughs> but it felt great and it was so much easier to use. So I could just pour it out into my hand and it had some bits in it and I could just crumble it up in my hands and use it in my, in my hair. And it worked great that time. So yeah, I think I found a way to actually use it up, which is great. I still think it's going to take some time and then I want to use other uh, other shampoos that I think are better. But yeah, I have hopes for this now at least. And then we have the conditioner bar, which has worked pretty well. It's very smooth and stuff. So it's only the matter of application if you like it or not. But yeah, it became so thin that it actually broke when I used it. So yeah, they were really, really thin. I hope I can use it up in a foreseeable future probably not in the next update, but you know, you never know. <laughs> but I think it's going to be a little bit harder to use it now when it's cracked like this. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I'm very happy for the progress though. Then we come to the brown category. As you can see, I haven't finished anything. I haven't been able to sharpen the eyebrow pencil, but I've used it about seven times. I've also used the I Heart Stage the eyeshadow base from Essence about six times and uh, I can't see a difference in there so I didn't bring it with me today either. And then I've used the Pace High Rise Powder 
about five times. So I am working on these products, but you know, I, ha I don't have much to show you guys. So let's move on to the green category because this is where it all happens. I have been working on the Drops of Youth series and I have finished all of these items. Uh, I am so stoked. I am so happy. We have this uh, Bouncy Jelly Mist, which is kind of a magic product. Like I've said before, it was a, a, a jelly and then it came out as a mist and I don't know how they do that. But this last month it has, um, it hasn't worked with a spritzer so I had to take some jelly out in my hand and kind of clap it into my hands and then into my face. So it's not the best container I would say because um, it didn't work until the end. But as a product it was pretty nice. Then we have the serum. This was very thick. Um, I think it's a little bit too thick for my liking, but you know, it's a good serum still. But the star of the show is the day cream. This is the best day cream I've ever tried. It's totally gone. This was a 50 mil container, I think. Yeah, 50 mils. Um, and I am so glad. It's really daunting to put a, a big product like this in for me. Like a day cream, it does take some time. I've used this both day and night. I've started to use day creams on my neck, sometimes a little bit on my decollete as well. So it's going a lot faster than before, but still it is a daunting project to start, like a big sized skincare item. So, or a full size item, I should say. <laughs> So I am so, so happy that that is gone. I am almost finished with a deodorant as well. Uh, there's nothing left to show you guys. It's like I have to dig in with my fingers soon if I want to continue with it, but I can use it for a couple of days more and I uh, definitely think it will be an ND for next time. Then we come to the blue category. I haven't finished anything. I actually haven't used any of these products that are left. So let's move on to the purple category. I've used the Therapy Balm a few times. Oh, that is very close to be finished as well. So I think that will be a finished item until next time. And then I'm working on the Exfoliating Cleanser from Murad. And I've used it about 15 times. And I'm about halfway on that one. So maybe I can have that one finished for the next update as well. And that was all of the categories. I have finished 10 products this month and quite a few full-size items. And I couldn't be happier with an update than this. Like this was, this was incredible. And I think we can have a pretty good update next time as well, maybe. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and that I'll see you in the next one. Have a great evening. Bye.